What's up guys, this is Rixalai Sign Yin and welcome back to more Danganronpa V3. That is very loud. What the fuck? Why is it so loud, dude? Let's skip all that shit. Okay, we're in a class trial. And in this class trial, we're trying to find out who murdered Ryoma. Ooh. I don't remember what we did last time. What was the shocking truth we revealed? Oh! That Ryom was alive after 11pm, right? Who put that down? Oh, it was... Um, Marky and Ryom had a tele conversation after 11pm, didn't they? Okay. Square one? If square one, they wouldn't have got eaten by the competition! Okay, Montaro, can you shut the fuck up, please? that terrible movie, they had no other choice! What does that mean? What the fuck are they going on about? Doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument like this one. Thank you, Suki. Anyway, what's uh, what's going back with me over here then, shall we? we Let's go see what's going on. Anything Maki says, she's just gonna throw out more lies. Says you, the lying piece of shit. But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? I know what they talked about. Either Ryoma had Maki's uh, video, or Maki had Ryoma's. One of the two. But I think... I think you know who had Ryoma's. I believe. I told you already, we don't need to. We hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Did you find Ryoma's in Maki's room? You might have done, I can't remember. That lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. And I will agree with Tenko on this one. A little after midnight last night, he visited me at my research lab. After midnight? Well then, fuck me. He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. He wants me to show him. Motive okay. Video? Did he have Ryomas? Did she have Ryomas? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? I believe that's true. As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Ryoma had Maki's, Does okay. This mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? That's the potential. Maybe. I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Ah. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her cub's pet. Nah. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? If you went around asking at random, you might have asked some people besides Maki. And then said, no, I don't have yours, because I, I had Kaito's. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Then, who was it that told Ryoma about his Cubs pad? Weird. Who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? It would have been someone who knew who had each of the, each pads. And the person who would know would be where the fuck is this little shit? You. It's you. Because you stole. You went into everyone's room and stole it all, right? That would be. And that's what he did. Peachy. See? Cup pads. Gotta catch them all. I even got the pads belonging to the people on E here. <laughs> that's what he does. How everyone can watch their motive video. Now everyone can watch their motive video, but we didn't do it. So do it. it was like, saw the motive yeah. videos. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? Hmm. When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. Or thinking of a lie. What happened then, Maki? After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. You sh I'm assuming you showed it to him. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Because he had yours. So he must have automatically... You automatically assumed that he knew your secret. Wow, oh, Maki. That's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? Oh, no, wait. Go to my room. Yeah, not to my fucking... Lab, yeah. And then what happened? She probably doesn't sleep there. Or doesn't <laughs> sleep at all. <laughs> I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his motor video. No. When he asked me, 
He said that he would show me my motor video in return. Okay. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. Well, you know what your video would contain, though, right? So you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? What a bunch of crap. I'm on Maki's side here. If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. And that means everyone is still a bloody culprit. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. Why? If that story is true. Ooh. It's the true. I believe Maki. She's so cool. She looks sick. Now to bring that up? Because she didn't want to be part of the class trial. I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. Nah. Suspected. No point getting blamed for murder that she didn't do. Jirumi said it earlier. It seems that oh. Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. Right. That's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. Not the fact that you told me that you didn't want to be part of this because you said everything would come clear in the class trial. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? Mm -hmm. It's just like, eh, nothing to do with me. It's selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. She doesn't care, Kurumi. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe Mark. I think Kaito has some kind of, um, a kind of crush on Maki. I mean, once you find out what she's real like, oh boy, who could, who couldn't, right? Those who believe shall be saved. Okay. No, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm. Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Ooh. Huh? What now? You never answered my question. He didn't, he avoided it. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? He could have lied. There is a potential that Kokichi could have lied. He is a natural born liar. Which makes me think he's not a supreme leader. Just makes me the ultimate liar. Hmm. Hmm. Is that hmm. really important? I would say so. Oh, these rooms are going to look so cool in the fucking game I'm building. Nope, I'm not building a game. I'll say it here. Just in case. But um, I am building the Dangle Rumper. I'm not building it as such, but I'm building a specific room to tailor each person. I think I've mentioned that sometimes before. I might have mentioned it in this because I remember talking about each individual person. Yes, it is. But I'm doing it in House of Because if Kokichi yeah. told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. Exactly. I, there's no rules about not going to bed at nighttime. It's just saying that. The dining hall doors a lot. You can't go get food after night time. You can't go for a swim during night time. Everything else is I fair see. game. Kokichi. I don't know if the rule is in this one that you can't sleep anywhere you want. So Marky could be sleeping in her lab room instead. Now you understand Hello, why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? Did you lie, you little shit fuck? That's a lie. You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? I didn't die. I wanted to die. If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. God, Maki, you're so fucking cool. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. I will fucking dropkick you down a flight of stairs, kid. Okay, it's true. I told Ryoma. I will still dropkick you down a flight of stairs, bitch. Just as I thought. But that's not a bad thing, right? He wanted to know, so I told him. I will fucking still drop kick you down a flight's desk. Have you seen everyone's motive video? I think he does. No, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted like a movie screening party. Which was also the insight meet and greet. I just checked who had whose so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm. I see. Not do the decent thing and give them back to the people who they right be rightfully belong to. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. Then who did it? No, we cannot be too sure about that yet. You was all about it a minute ago, Kurumi. Why are you all backing down now? Maki did meet. It does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. So you still suspect me? I am saying it could still be a possibility. 
Interesting. If there's still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. <sighs> Kurumi, yes, you might be prime suspect now, but everyone in this fucking room is a culprit if it's set after night time. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Right, why is she making a big fuss of this? Like, all she has said that I have met up with Ryoma after night time. And she's saying, mm, I don't think you did though. So it's like, so you're, you're denying that possibility? How could... Right, Kurumi. We've just got confirmation from Kokichi that he knew whose video belonged to who. Okay? He knows I had Kaito's. He knows that Maki had Ryoma. And knows that Ryoma had Maki. Okay? Or the other way around or whatever bullshit. Because he knows who's, who had who. Right? Okay, cool. Now... That was happening during the insect meet and greet, which you wasn't a part of, by the way, Kurumi, because you was interrogating Kokichi or playing cat and mouse for half an hour with him while interrogating him. So why are you now saying it could have been a different day when they had a little talk about their motor, motor videos when no one knew? Then which is it? A lie or not lie? It's not a lie. She's being a bit hmm at right now. She's not lying. Can't you tell just by looking at her? Can I tell you? Oh, please. I think you do have the hearts for Marky, considering I know how your story goes with her. If it was that easy, we'd be done by now. No, this is a world of lies and betrayal. This entire game is based on lies and betrayal. And I think it's the final Danganronpa too. I would love a number four, and I will explain more why I would think that an endless supply of Danganronpas would be fucking sick. Himiko, it breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things. Eh, she's fine. I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. See, now someone else is saying it, it doesn't sound more, less plausible. But she, he's finding the testimony. Suspicious. This is difficult to determine. Maki is lying. Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. Okay, you just admitted to being a liar, Kokichi, so everything you said could be thrown out the window. I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during nighttime. I'm telling the truth. Can she prove this? Is it a lie or the truth? Oh, shit! Um. There's something I want. Hold on. Uh, bookmarks. Back alternative routes. I forgot about this for an achievement. Okay. Back routes. After accusing the killer. Uh, when the killer says a certain line, we use alibis. Oh, that should spoil everything if I do that right. Whoops. But I said the killer does this, they say that, we do that. Okay, this is the turning point. This will change the fate of this case. And I, I said I would believe in Kaito. And that means believing in Maki. And that means I have to do it. And he's all on the same page. I have to change where this argument is going. Okay. I see. Ooh. I met with Ryoma the previous night. Yep, let's get some of these off the road. <laughs> that, that was true, though. Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Well, you're trying Did to pr protect your thing. Okay. Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can prove that this meeting took place, they can't. There is no reason to believe your testimony. I'm afraid. As expected, hmm. Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie! Huh. I can't say the two of them met now. That's too obvious a lie. So if I can convince them that Maki met w up with someone... I met with Ryoma the previous night. Insect meet and greet? What a load of crap! Maybe? Maki only see Ryoma at night? What's my lie button? Yes. Insectful and bleed. I don't think that's the one we want today. Did they want to see those two together? No. 
Gunter. During the magic show, no, that's that one. What does this change to? Gunter's lie. Ooh. Okay. Right, I see. Right, okay. What is this one? Maki not alone. Oops. What's Maki alone? Maki was standing guard in front of her lab last night. She stayed in her dorm room only during night time. <sighs> Maybe I can say that she wasn't alone during night time. That could work. That might work. I can't say okay. Right. Maybe I can use this. What a load of crap. This might be the one I need. Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Not really. Surely they would have come forward already. Yes. No one can prove <laughs> took place. That's not that one. Okay then. Oh, I didn't. Okay. I forgot I need to press the lie button. I forgot to reduce the lie button. Why is my health so low in this? I, met with Ryoma, the I need to change this to Marky not alone and then go for the attack. Let's speed things up a little bit. Did anyone see that? Is it get blocked off by somebody? Prove that this meeting took place. Then there is no reason. Oh, I fucking took too long. God's sake. Okay, right. I know what I need to do now. I need to change it for the one before. Um, when the blue thing comes up here, I can now change it. Oh shit! Got it. Marky not alone. That hurts me to do that shit. Fuck. Okay. We got through that one. Good. How I wanna know where he's going with this, because this is a lie. Oh. Please explain. Well, Kaito and I train together every night. Okay. And yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. Ah! Huh? Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Anyway, we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs. When we heard two people talking. People talking? We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other one. Right. So if I was in this little circle pit of confusion, I would absolutely rip into him right now. It's saying... Okay, so you knew one of them was Maki, but you didn't know it was Ryoma? Ryoma's got a pretty fucking distinct deep voice, dude. Does anyone else have a deep voice in this? Not that I know of. Even though if I can sound like Kaito, I don't sound like Kaito, but even though I try and replicate Kaito and try to replicate Ryoma, they are slightly different. I don't believe his lie. Obviously, we know it's a lie, but... Mm. But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. You should have said it the other way around, because Maki can hardly speak clearly. It's like, who the fuck's he talking to? You know? Like, it must have been... What? Instead, you know? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. Wait a minute! If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. No, no, hold up! Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. No, not really. Yeah, but... See, now this is where me was striking a point, like saying, yeah, but no one knew that... Oh, right! That would make sense, because it would be anti... conspicuous, if that is the right word, because... Someone saw Ryoma after midnight and it's like saying, thinking about it, it's like, it could have been Ryoma, like thinking about it this entire time. Yeah, 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 yeah alright, alright, I'm, I'm, I'm on the tracks. Yeah, I'm on these tracks now. But we know Maki was out. That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. But considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. That's true, could have heard muffled voices like, 
That's definitely Marky, because everyone else sounds high-pitched as a girl. But if he sounds so quiet and muffled anyway, which he does, because they both sound quiet. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. Anyone want to rebuttal that one? Anyone want to rebuttal? No rebuttals? A little bit upset that people didn't comment on who could be the murderer, by the way, last week. Fuck you all. I'm not angry. But it'd be nice to contribute some things, you know what I mean? And nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. Exactly. Even though we just lied, but shh. Who did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? What's the point? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. Why, though? It's a private conversation, Kroomy. It's happening after fucking midnight. If it's happening after fucking midnight, you keep your bloody nose out! We are still part of a killing game, after all. Yeah, but it's still private! Whoa, whoa chill out! Why the scary face? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I That's true. Something so uncool. Exactly. Anyway, See, Kata's nice. Know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Then Gonta will believe, friends. Thank you, Gonta. You're gonna believe him? Just like that? See, I like Mew. Mew's question is like saying that. That's not ringing bells in my head. Mm. Exactly. Everyone was like, why is Suichi lying? Suichi wouldn't need to lie about this. But Mew's like, mm, I don't get it. I don't trust him. If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. Exactly. No need for him to lie. Unless he wishes for death, we should be able to believe him. He did wish for death at one point, but Kaito brought him back from the depths of hell. That's or from right. the depths of wanting to end himself. Me. Yeah, you're right. I'll believe him too. Nice. I know there's a lot of um, fan-made Danganronpa games, and they could all be canon because that's how the games work. But I don't think any of them are fully fleshed out. I will play them if they are fleshed out. But if it's something like, oh, we want to go up to like case two right now, I'm like, uh, eh, I'll leave them be for now then. You know, because you can do these. You can do these in Renpai if you want to do your own. You have to do is make your own character designs. Which, you know what? If you want to make your own. Um, I wouldn't say support AI, but if you know how to use Renpai and you don't have a good artist, or you can't afford an artist, why not do it through using um, AI, right? Yeah, people say support you, like, you buy a freaking artist or get gathering many money to do an artist. Like, dude, you need to do, like, several different poses. I guess, though, doing a bloody scene would be kind of drastic. Yeah, AI might be a bit tough. It would take a lot longer if it's just... I mean, like, if you've got a group of friends together who knows how to draw art or draws anime. Like, yeah, you could easily do it. Like, I know someone who do, but I don't think they would... Well, I knew someone who knew how to do anime art. I wonder if I do know someone. But again, it's more like the premise of, like, I want to do this, but I don't have the money to do it. So it's kind of like, hmm, it's an issue, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you could slowly build it all up and all that stuff, but again, that's why AI could come in handy, you know? To certain people who can't afford things. Like, for example, um, Supermarket Simulator, the guy who made that game. I read a comment that he used AI, but I don't see any AI artwork in the game. And now I know he has a full on team. I don't know. And I have seen, like, a. HD mod for that game, which looks fucking insane. I kind of want it because it looks cool. <laughs> anyway, I'd be so surprised let's go back. if Shuichi was a liar, especially after we believed him for so long. Is that Kukito saying doesn't believe me? We wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. He knows. He knows I'm lying. All right, that proves it then. Ryoma was still alive during nighttime. Kokichi's clocked onto me. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. That makes you very more suspicious, Kaito. Right. I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? Right, it's true. After midnight, anyone could still kill. So, everyone is culprit again? Yep. So... We're right back where we started. 
What a pain. However, it should be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime began. This is where you aren't a suspect, and neither is Miu. Because these two were doing stuff, but then I think. Was Ryoma's body placed inside the piranha tank? We don't know that yet. Well, the gym is locked at night time, so it must have been the next morning, but... That's not possible. Himiko and I were at the gym, remember? Indeed he was. So did we fuck up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? No, that definitely happened. I don't think There's evidence so. of that. We have evidence to prove that's what happened. Thank you, Kibo. <clears throat> Being on my side for a change on that one. Let me get back to that room. Then when did the culprit throw the body into the piranha tank? No one threw. We were placed there. We need to narrow it down. Maki was with Ryoma around midnight. So it couldn't have been before midnight time. Sorry. And if it couldn't have been the morning after, that leaves... The only time they could have done it was during night time, huh? Exactly. Did you forget the gym's not open at night time, dick cheese? However, we have found evidence of scuff marks. Dick cheese? <laughs> Smeg, otherwise, Kaito. Smeg. But that's the only possibility, because by morning we were already at the gym. It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. Doubt that. No one can slip by me. I know far and wide as the snoozing sorceress. How does that work? Can I have that as a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card, the snoozing sorceress, and have Himiko in the picture? That'd be so cool. What a terrible title for a guard. <laughs> Are you positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at night time. You found a way. Himiko would have seen it. She might strike out, but she always You can't enter the, the gym ball. at night time. Is it because the doors are locked or not? Because the window could be opened. I don't even play baseball. But we can't disobey school rules, right? The body was probably Hold on. Hold on. Where's the report? Where's the things? Review the rules. Here we go. Ultimate Academy for Juvenile. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their Fabiles future. Once murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a clash trial. If the Bakken is exposed during the clash trial, they will be alone executed. If the Bakken is not exposed, all remaining students will be killed. If Lacken survives the clash trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and clash trial will continue until only two surviving students remain. Nighttime is, Tim is from 10 till 8. The dining hall and gymnasium or off limits at night time. Interesting. Okay. So it's off limits In the morning. during them times. Okay. Calm down, everyone. Going to sure if we discuss disagreement. I see through your arguments. Oh, Monokuma typing in. Disagreement? You mean you're split down the middle again? Split the room time! Love these. Then Love these personally. The Ultimate Academy is proud to present <laughs> its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! I like this. Yippee! We've been waiting for this! They should do more to up this up. I know they moved on to AI Somnium Files. Again. And I played a little bit of AI and it's like... The way that game just fucking grips you. Instead of this game, like, oh, it builds up time. Like, oh, what's this all about? Oh, no, it's about a killing game. That's all about it. So how the fuck does this turn out? It's like, yo, what the fuck happened? But in AI Somnium Files, you literally start off with a fucking brutal murder. It's like, what the fuck? I'm like, all right. All right, I'm down. I'm down. So we might play that in the future as well. Vision novels, maybe a Sunday thing. Minus Tomb Raider, because we have got like a... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 visual novels lined up for some point. I don't know. Seems like her opinions are split up this matter. But if we focus on the evidence, the facts will become clear. All I have to do is show them and make them accept it. If I can't get them to see the truth now, my lie would have been for nothing. I won't fail. Split the room time! I love these sheep. 
I love split the room. So cool. Alright, off we go then, boys and girls. Are we still at even standings? Well, not really, because only three people are dead. So there is one more than, than the rest. Okay. No, there were 15, okay. Oh shit. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Ah! Wait, 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 wait! I was in front of the gym with the others before the announcement. Ha ha! Is it not Nailed it. You simply missed the culprit. Missed! Go for it, Marky! I mean right in front of the door. There's no way we could have missed them. Love the shit. The rules state that you can't enter the gym at night. Kaito. Rules. Rules Kaito. Probably Go. don't apply to corpses, you know. The piranha tank is too far from the gym's entrance. I've got this. You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. But pool next to gym also off limits at night. Maki. Entering the pool no. is what's off limits, not the pool area itself. But should we trust Maki's testimony in the first place? Why is that randomly there? It's okay. Shuichi's testimony too. That's how they get to the bottom of it. Okay. Fuck you, bitch! Ah! I pressed the wrong fucking button! Spam your buttons, bitches! Here we go. Nice. I love spot the room. So cool. It's easy to do. It's true that you not enter the gym at night time. But a corpse could. Okay, because the curtain was already up. Oh. I am positive that the window was how the culprit moved the body. Because we've got evidence that the window was open. I'm butchered with. Because we've got the scuff that marks, as you can see. Than the piranha tank, and, it's pretty close <coughs> and you can see the scuff marks above the um, curtains might have been closed, but the window was open. The whole investigation. Exactly, you can see the scuff marks as well. For something was going off there. That means it was certainly possible to put the body in the piranha tank from the window. However, I'm also positive the pain dividing the piranha tank was set up beforehand. Yeah. That certainly couldn't be tossed in. It would need to be placed carefully. Even if the culprit were to throw the body from outside the window. It's a big, the it's a big is drop. Too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. Ryoma was small. Gonta could have chucked him easy. True that. Yes, but Gonta wouldn't do that. Gentlemen not chuck dead bodies. Being a gentleman has nothing to do with it. I know. They used the ladder in the gym. You tested oh. it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. That ladder reached the window, right? It did. So You're correct. just needed to put the body through the window to pull it off, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds plausible. No, I don't think that method is possible because the ladder couldn't have been used like that in this crime. Um, the ladder doesn't reach the window? This one. I don't think there was enough time to move the ladder. Okay, then. Couldn't they have carried out the ladder at any point during night time? Yeah. I think the culprit didn't have time. Uh. Okay, not that one. Oh, shit. The oh, the ladder can't be moved during night time. What the fuck? Well, I fucked that one up. Oh, where do I have to go from? Please tell me something from that full fucking question. Please. Please. I must go for all this again because we've gone for all this shit. Okay. Yeah, okay, I do have to go through this question again. Go, so it's the bottom one then. The ladder doesn't reach the window. That's it. The only reason the ladder reached the window was because it was on the stage. I didn't realize that one. I'm a bit dumb on that one. If you use the ladder on the pool side, it would not quite make it. Yeah. The ladder could barely reach the window when it was on the stage. Yeah. I get you now. I'll be a bit numb. And there is nothing on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage. 
I mean, you probably could use the diving board, I guess. <laughs> Finally, the ladder was found in the gym, correct? Yes. If the culprit used the ladder on the pool side, we wouldn't have found it in the gym. That's why I was trying to see the ladder couldn't have been moved, but obviously it could have been, but... Throwing the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. Yeah. Then Gonta used his hard strength to throw the <coughs> ladder or the body or something. Mew! You pig! Shed no! Could not throw dead bodies. Or ladders. Eh? The body could not have been thrown into the piranha tank to begin with. Exactly. Because there was... It would need to be placed carefully to prevent the glass pane from shifting. I wonder how this was done. I can't remember how it was done. Got it, muscle head? Even if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible. Like, I know who's done it. I don't know who dies. I roughly remember how they died, but all the events is is blech, over my head. Sorry, you're right. So that's why it's a bit hard for me. I can't just go bing, 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 bing. It's been a few years since I've actually beaten this game. You didn't need to like I said, I know who's done it. How the culprit moved the body from the window. Is this where we find our tie that we found? Because that connects. You guys don't even know that? What a bunch of dimwits. Did you just fucking put it into your head right now, Kaito? Do you have the answer then? I think he does. But of course. But of course. Blow them all away with the truth. Oh, you were there with me. Uh, of course. I, uh, actually don't know that yet. There were scuff marks on the window, Shuichi. There were scuff marks in Ryoma's window, Shuichi. What? He knows and he doesn't. Culprit definitely moved the body through the window, but I don't know how. Seriously? He knows. Does Kato know? You're right. You just made a fool out of yourself after acting all high and mighty. But he knows it, though, right? Just need to shut up and take their licks. Licks? What are we gonna do, Shuichi? We gotta figure this out, or we're done for. You? I thought you figured it out, Kaito. Hey, you do something, Shuichi. Uh, I know. I have to do something, but I don't know what to do. I haven't figured that out yet. <sighs> am, am I really not good enough? Am I? Am I no good as a detective? I can't do this. I can't. I don't think it really matters how the body got into the piranha tank. What? Gonta thinks it matter. We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out. Mm. We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. Yes, but if we don't, we need to have solid proof how they did it first, though. We shouldn't focus on where we found the body. Instead, we need to focus on where he was killed. That is even better. Really yes. Killed? Yes. Wouldn't it be more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead? Well, it would make sense considering he did drown. Yes, that's it. We were so caught up in where the body was found. When we should have been thinking about where the murder occurred. Do we know what? We definitely have more clues about the culprit. Why didn't anyone realize this yet? <laughs> that's strange. Two sidetracked, and Kukichi, you're a dickhead just saying that, Perhaps right? The culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. Did they? Then, culprit is someone in this room. Gunter, you're special, dude. I'm just saying, you're a bit special. That's important to remember. It's not as if everyone here wants us to find the truth. One of them is just trying to sabotage this trial. Well then, let's discuss the crime scene to figure out who the culprit is. Okay. Not a bad idea for a robot. The last oh, time I wow. such a good idea was when Nino told me to move in with her under the bridge to get out of the cold. Is Nino a black cat? Himikawa under the bridge? Himikawa? If we can determine where this all started, we can determine how it ended. Yes, it's much too soon to quit. The trial has only just begun. Thank King you, help. Maki. That was a helpful insight. We may be done with this class trial. I want to try and finish the class trial today. While you're still an apprentice. Yep. <laughs> Shut down in his prime. 
Okay, non-stop debate. When we're we gonna do the hangman thing? I don't know. Like First, let's establish the crime scene. Okay. Wasn't it the dorm room? No. Ryoma was relaxing in his room when he got attacked. No. But the cause of death was drowning. Yarp. There is nothing in his room that could collect enough water. That's true with the monokuma file. Toilet, doesn't he? Toilets are locked. Impossible. Impossible. The places where water is stored. The only place okay. that fits is the pool. That's not right. Even if you use magic, there's no other way. <coughs> well, okay. Must be the pool then. No, it's the now different area. Turn drowned in the toilet. Okay. Shut your mouth, you noisy sow. Okay. Ah! Can I agree with Sal? <laughs> okay, certainly we're drowned in water. The pool seems like the obvious answer, but I have my First, doubts. Let's establish the crime scene. Wasn't it the dorm room? This. No? Let's have a look. Black piece of fabric. A piece of fabric that was floating in the pool. Okay, so no, not that. Pool rules suggest he can't go in there. Oh, no, that's true. That's true. There is nothing in his room that could collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? <laughs> no, toilet? Impossible. <laughs> it's not possible. It's a... the places where water is stored. Yes. The only place that fits. V shot. Oh, it, 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 it hit. I didn't get the V, but it, it hit. That's all that matters. Fuck the V. We got the hit. Some good news. The pool could not have been the scene of the murder. Ryoma was killed at night time. Yes. No swimming is allowed at night time, so a living person could not have gone in. Exactly. <laughs> yep. A dead body is fine because it's just an object. But if a living person entered the pool, it's I just think an I object. Might cry. Jesus Christ. Cry as loud as you want. I'll cry with you. We can spend the night together crying. Why does that sound oddly seductive? <laughs> I don't I'm like ye. Why are you being so romantic, Monofani? Only after you leave do I realize how much you really mean to me. Okay. Quit being so gloomy. This is the year of the Jets. Fuck the Patriots. Where the fuck does that come from? Anyway, we can <laughs> conclude it's impossible for him to have drowned in the pool. Yes. Where was Ryoma killed if not pool? Is there other place where water can be stored? So if we're arguing against the pool, then why are we not arguing against this fucking toilet? Mew? Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, marked window for... We'll keep that in, in mind. Ooh. The handcuffs found in the tank. Oh, they're from Ryoma's labs. Okay, then, fair enough. Not that one, then, huh? Yeah, right. Okay. What staircase? Kikichi's account. Tank. Scratched sink. This is it. There we go. <clears throat> the sink in Ryoma's lab. There were distinct scratch marks on it. Scratch marks on the sink? Mm hmm. And I believe those scratches were caused by. The handcuffs. This is it. There you go. The handcuffs. They were scratched as well, correct? Oh yeah. Sort of looked like they'd been scraped against something. Mm hmm. We getting somewhere? There's also the fact that the handcuffs were from Ryoma's lab. The marks in the sink came from the handcuffs in the same room. The size and shape of the scratches are consistent with the handcuffs, I'm sure. Alright. Hmm. How did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? That's the question, because but he was in them though. Was wearing them, right? Yep, Ryoma was wearing them. Good, yes, good, good. Though they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. And then we got turned to bones and then they slid off. Oh, because they're going to be I'm scuffed. Sure he was wearing the handcuffs at the time. 
Yeah, they could have been scuffed the by the by, by the fish. After the piranhas devoured Ryoma. Yeah. So the culprit handcuffed Ryoma and drowned him in his lab sink. Yep. Ryoma must have been pretty yummy. They chomped up his entire body. Arms, legs, brain. But your brain is secluded by the skull. Saying disgusting things. I don't want to hear it. I don't think they got to his brain. That crunchy texture with the fatty parts just right. Then when they bite down, it gushes. None of your body is crunchy apart from your bones. Stop! Please stop! But how did culprit handcuff Ryoma? He could have used Shikuchi method to get away. Unless someone ambushed him? It's possible they knocked him out before handcuffing him. Okay. <laughs> Though there's no way we can be sure now that he's not but bones. You can still see damage on the bones, Dumkov. As hang on! As an anthropologist yourself, you should know that you could find scuff marks on the bone. Because the impact would still be mashed onto the bones. Dude, go watch Bones the TV program. She's also an anthropologist and a forensic anthropologist that she knows what could kill people because she looks at bones all the time. I doubt he was ambushed. I'm pretty sure the culprit got Ryoma by. Uh, whoops. Don't pay attention to little me. I'm just talking to myself. Thinking out loud. When you talk to yourself, pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. It's so disgusting, you'll laugh. Who made that? Who made peanut butter? Wait a minute. 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 Isn't... Isn't that a reference to Food Wars? Here he is. Yeah! It's in the first episode of Food Wars. The first episode of, of Food Wars, um, the main character makes peanut butter squid. Huh! That's why that sounded familiar. I mean, just then. Okay. Alright. I'm adverse on anime. So we all agree Ryoma was drowned in the sink in his lab, right? She must have dressed up as the dude with the spiky hair who made that. Once upon a time. That sink could have held enough water to do it for sure. Did that come out in 2017 though? I mean, we're on like six seasons of that shit, so maybe. Food Wars season one. This is me investigating. Oh sh okay then right I am I need to be more first in anime that ca came out in 2015. Woohoo boy. Okay. All right. I get references. The crime scene is Ryoma's fucking research lab. Yeah, again you want to be a fan of him drowning in the toilet. But how did the culprit carry his body to the gym from there? We'll get to this now. Isn't Ryoma's lab on the third floor of the academy? It is. Yes. It's actually not far at all. No. Although perhaps it's more accurate to say there's a shortcut. Was there a shortcut? What a sh what shortcut between Ryoma's lab and the gym did the culprit use? Oh, the window. The scuff mark on the window. There. I read pay attention to that one. The shortcut is the window in Ryoma's lab. Hell ye. The window. Mm-hmm. That's right. None of the windows in this school open. Apart from two. Except the one in Ryoma's lab. Mm hmm And on top of that, the window faced the pool. You could see the gem straight across. Maybe you could. Do you think the culprit dropped Ryoma's body into the pool area from the lab window? Then they could have thrown the body into the piranha tank through the gem window. No one could have thrown that okay. body, though. Mission complete. No. Your explanation contradicts some things we discussed earlier. Yes. The gym window was too high to reach from the poolside, even if one used the ladder. 
That's right. I apologize. I must go on a journey to reflect on this. Okay. We keep hitting dead ends since we don't know how the body was thrown into the gym. We know. <laughs> well, that didn't really give us any info about the crime. It kind of did. Okay. Not necessarily we'll learn a lot of information from that, by the way. I read it. I just didn't read it out loud. Now that I'm sure the scene of the crime was Roma's lap, the case is becoming clearer. To so determine how the body got, got from the crime scene to where it was found, to figure out how to get from the third floor window to the gym. Alright then, we have to analyze the possible methods and find this most likely. Okay, we've got the site. Taxi. Cool. When you have to deduce how things are connected, Tight Taxi will start up. The objective of this game mode is to gather the letter cubes lying around to form the question. Use the A button to accelerate and the left stick to move left and right. By picking up letter cubes floating around, you can complete the question. Once you completed the question, you, had to, you head toward the escort that has the right answer. If it's the right answer, they all get in the car. If it's the wrong answer, something bad happens. Also, hey, fuck, excuse me, there'll be other cars, cars on the road. If you hit those, you'll take focus and energy damage. If it's getting dangerous, use RB to concentrate, stay calm, and avoid them. Please drive safely. Enjoy the ride. Please run to your earliest convenience. <laughs> okay, how do I drive? Is it trigger? Oh, it's A button, not trigger. Okay. Cool, let's get some cube bitches. I need to find Monokuma in here somewhere. So I can save and quit once I found all the Monokuma so I didn't go in. Um, did I find them in my spare time? I might have done, actually. I just don't remember finding them. 205 mile kilometer, huh? Oh, shit. To the side. There we go. The body was brought from where? Okay. I'm not. I'm trying to keep an eye out for the monochromas. Okay, we found that shit. Do we have a brake button? And game time. Okay. Labs window. Labs window. Let's smack it, bitch. Okay, question number two. Where the fuck is Monokuma? Okay, we'll let, we'll drive through the cubes for now. Which is pretty simple. Okay, we're gonna have to get them all, but it's just there though still. Right. I'm trying to keep an eye out for the Monokuma. Although I may have missed it. We're still good for now. Plenty of cubes to grab though, so. Not to worry about missing some. They'll pop up eventually. Oh, this one looks fine. It's okay. Not too bad. There we go. The body was brought to the gym from where? Why is it asking the same question again? I went through that cube. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Slow it down now. Is it in the third question area? Don't know. Okay. Gym window. Turn it up to 11. There we go. Good. Just gonna try and find. Next question time. Where the fuck is Monokuma? Wanna find him? Might be in another car actually. Oh, he's there maybe? I might be in another car. I'll drive into some of the cars. Let's see him, I can drive into him. I don't see him thus far though. Interesting stuff. Where the fuck is Monokuma? Do I purposely have to miss? Don't see him yet. Okay. Where the fuck is Monokuma? See a car up ahead. It's not in that one, is he? 
Got it! Got it! <clears throat> there was crystal where that one was. Okay. Just had to make sure I, ha I saw him. That is all. Hey, how was it moved from the classroom window to the gym window? The rope! The cable wire! The um, tennis wire! The table tennis, the tennis wire thing. The, they're not the table, the cable tennis. Um, how was it moved from the classroom from the window from window to window? Yeah, there you go. There we go, window to window. Cool. That doesn't explain anything though, dude. I've got it. We almost body was moved directly from his lab to the gym. Hell yeah. Directly? Don't tell me they threw the body from window to window. Not necessarily. I mean, we're talking about a body. It's not like tossing a baseball, you know. We'll get there. No, I don't believe he was thrown. But perhaps another way. But what other way was this? What do you mean another way? There's no other way to move it. Yeah, there is. The culprit must have used some kind of equipment. Huh? Equipment? With this equipment, they can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. There you go. I believe it was found near the body. Oh, there you go. There. The rope. The rope found behind the gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. Oh, there was a mysterious mystery about that rope that only Atua can reveal. I just did it myself. What the fuck are you on about? Mysterious mystery. During last night's preparations for the show. That rope was in the wing of the stage. Right. But the next morning, the rope had been moved backstage for some reason. Okay. It's a mysterious mystery. Only Atua knows the answer. But obviously someone moved it, dickhead. So, during nighttime, someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? So they did use the rope. That's how they bridged the distance between both windows. I don't think that was it. Is the rope long enough to reach both windows? The rope is roughly 65 feet in length. As for the distance between the windows... For 66? According to the sign of the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. That's the pool. Okay. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. Okay, 35, 45, 55... Uh, 66, so it is one feet short. Altogether, the sum total length from one window to the other is roughly 50 feet. 35, 45, 55. Oh, you mean together, so it's eight on each side. Okay, then, yeah. Cool is only thing between research lab and gym windows. No, but did math wrong. I thought it was six on each side, but it's eight on each side. <laughs> That's what she said. Wait, who said that? Oh my god, Samugi. <laughs> if the rope was long enough, wouldn't it be pretty hard to tie them to the windows? Both windows were too high to reach. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. Okay. No, going to think it would work. Just need one more rope. Another rope? There was only one, though. That makes sense why there's two ropes there. Oh, then it impossible. Sorry. No, I'm sure there was another rope. Or at least something that could be used as rope. Uh, the cable tie. Whatever it's called. Yeah, this is it. This thing. This is it! There we go. The tennis net cable from Ryoma's lab could serve as a rope. Yeah. How long is it? About 60 meters. 50 feet or so. But how do they use it? Okay, so. First, right. the culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then, culprit move to the other side. Okay. And tie cable to other window. Okay. Then, after tying to each window... Culprit tie rope and cable together. Okay. That how culprit make one rope that reach both windows. Wow, that's amazing, Go 
Kota? You're so knowledgeable. Not the way I would have had it, but sure. It, it's nothing. Gonta use ropes a lot when looking for bugs. Okay. Even yes, if he knows they did connect ropes. the windows with a rope, they can't carry a body on just that. Eureka! I got it! Okay, then you. What you got? Once said that genius is one percent inspiration and ninety-nine percent perspiration. But in my case, it's one hundred percent inspiration. Are you sure about that? You get it. Just tell us already. They handcuff the body to the rope and slid it from one window to the other, like Tarzan. Okay, I see that. The body would reach the gym window, but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. That's what they want, though, right? Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. I want to slap him. I want to fucking throw him down a flight of stairs again. <laughs> but she's into it, though. Ah, weird pig shit. Um, you don't know who he is, right? They also had to put the body in the piranha tank after they moved it, huh? Yeah. That is not feasible with just one rope. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit used. They didn't. It's in the fucking pool. Well, anyway, it would have been pretty difficult to get that body in the piranha tank. They wouldn't just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the culprit's plan. The culprit must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands. Yes, but if they was part of the setting up team, they could easily do it. That's the only way we can get there in the morning so quickly. Kokichi, are you hinting at something? Huh? Hint? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. <clears throat> Dickhead. You're confusing me. You were definitely onto something. It's true that the culprit needed to place the body directly into the piranha tank. If the body were to fall, the culprit would not have been able to retrieve it. They would have only had one shot at it. No second chances. So obviously, the culprit would have wanted to put the body in the tank carefully. Meaning they would have wanted to get as close to the window as possible. The problem is, how do they get near it? All that we know right now is that there was a rope that connected the windows. Somehow, the culprit used that to move the body and were close to the window themselves. To make that work, they had to have used something else. But what would that be? What could they have done? All right, Shuichi. The stage is finally set. You may hear some repeats. I don't know where we left off. My Xbox turned off while I went to get some food because I was badly shaky. So, let's see what we've got to go forward with. What? Listen up. I didn't see this scene. Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. Uh, okay. It all starts with you. You be the opening well, thank you for the boost. and I'll be the main event. It should be the way around. And then together, we're gonna save everyone. Well, apart from the person who killed. Together? You got this. After all, you are my sidekick. All the way around, buddy. I believe in you, so I'm gonna leave the rest to you. <clears throat> I don't know what Kaito is there. He must be getting the word sidekick being stuck has to be okay I can do this I will solve this mystery and show everyone the truth this is the main event something was used with the rope to move the body between the windows think come on think oh hangman's gambit uh. oh life Rub are you B B? Nope. There we go. Is it an O? Not A.
A ropeway? The fuck's a oh the ropeway, yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know what that word was, like, huh? That's it. The culprit used something like a ropeway to move the body. God don't mind that was difficult. A ropeway, huh? Are you sure about that? Well it just being established that we knew that wow. one was there. Drain damage or something? Drain damage. You'd need some kind of vessel to use on a ropeway, and we don't have that! There's one in the pool. No, there definitely was. The culprit used it to move the body along the rope. Oh, another mind mine. Okay. In scenes where you have to deduce an image, mind mine will begin. In this mode, the object the objective is to dig up the answer. At the beginning, the answer will be completely covered by pieces. Use the left stick to move the cursor and erase the pieces with the app button. Pieces will be erased when two or more of the same colour connect. The adjacent pieces then will then change colour in the following order. White, pink, yellow, and then white again. If you do it right, you can remove all the pieces from an object. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will change. When all the pieces on top of an object are gone, you can select the object of the answer. If you select the wrong object, your influence gauge will take damage. If there's just one piece left, you can press the A button repeatedly to break it. But that will, that will incur a time penalty, so don't just mash buttons. It might sound complicated, but trust me, you'll get this as you play. Okay. Right, big cluster of pinks right there. Well, that's the thing I want in the middle, so... Guess we're going to smack those away, huh? Oh. There you go. <clears throat> Pretty simple, right in the middle of the, of the thing. Well, it's not in the middle of those, because I know what I'm looking for, because I've already seen it in the game. It's the inner tube. The rubber inner tube we found floating in the pool. Mm-hmm. No, it's there. The inner tube we found in the pool with a rope on one side. Maybe the rope was originally tied on both sides. Okay. The culprit made a yeah. ropeway by hanging the tube from the rope connecting the windows. And because the third floor window is higher up, gravity would have pushed the inner tube along. Because the inner it tube would have done. sturdy rubber as well. It could have supported two people. Ah. The culprit used the ropes and the inner tube to construct a rudimentary ropeway and used it to move themselves and Ryoma's body from the lab to the gym. Once through the gym window, the culprit stood on the inner tube to move the body. Either that but how'd they end up in the water? The culprit placed their foot on the window sill. That way would be more stable and let them handle the corpse more carefully. But it wasn't allowed to step foot in the gym. Finally, they removed the rope from the window frame and left the scene. I'm going back to the way to do the rope well, on the other side. When you put it like that, it certainly sounds possible. But wow, a ropeway! <laughs> okay. You say the culprit placed their foot on the window sill. Isn't that against school rules? I that's what I was just about. That's what I was saying. Count is entering the gym, would it not? Monokuma? Last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. Oh. Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out, but standing on the sill is... Wait, who asked you last time? Eh? Hm? It is quite possible that the culprit went to you to confirm the details of their plan. Not necessarily. He could have literally simply replied, like, Oh, you're not the first class that we've gone through this, by the way. In the last... Killing game. Way to put your foot in your mouth. Hm? His foot? Manosuke just enhanced his jaw and swallowed his entire leg! <laughs> Cut it out! I can't write this off as a joke if you two keep freaking out about it! Did you just say it was in a previous class trial? Or... <laughs> Previous killing game. And your little slip up is actually the truth. Damn. P Pops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Daddy's mad at you now. Angry. Yeah. Don't look at me. This is what you get for acting like a big shot all the time. Good. Put him in his place. Do not believe Monoskeg. 
Manusuke. <laughs> No more blaming each other. Everybody makes mistakes. Okay. I want us all to get along. Interesting. Monodem's right. Manosuke, you better thank Monodem. Less attitude and more gratitude. Got it? Monosuke is not how I would put it. Definitely would pronounce it Monosuke. Man, the trial was just getting fun. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip-up? Uh-oh. But I guess now we know Shuichi's logic is right on the money. So Culprit really used Ropeway to move body? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they used the Ropeway to move with the body from window to window. Now we just need to find out who did it. Ropeway murder? That's some crazy-ass shit! You said it, crazy-ass shit, lady. If the mechanism was that complicated, wouldn't it be hard to put it all away? Eh, not really. Not necessarily. All one must do is detach the rope from the window after using the ropeway. Yep. Then, after returning to Yoma's lab, one could retrieve the rope from that side. Exactly. Tossing the rope into the gym from the pool window would be the final step. Without even touching the water. I see, I see. The rope was thrown from the window. That's why we found it there. We were just chilling out there, though, weren't it? With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab to the pool. Several. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slumbered. Mm hmm. But if the culprit was so careful to recover the rope they used to commit the crime, why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? Because they couldn't go in? I believe that was an accident. An accident? Yes. When the culprit was taking down the inner tube, they accidentally dropped it. When it went to the pool. Then why did the culprit leave it in the pool? They can't get it out when it's in the night time, could they? The reason the culprit left in the pool is obvious. Um. There we go. That's it. It was night time. Even if they wanted to get it, they couldn't, because this took place at night time. Yep. I see. They couldn't get the inner tube because swimming is prohibited at night time. Yeah, exactly. But couldn't they have used the rope to fish it out? Not necessarily. You see, the water level in that pool is so low. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope. Oh, yeah. The steep angle the rope would be at would make it nigh impossible. See, why didn't you use that deduction as when the bone would when it said someone smacked the back of the head? It's different if they used a pole, but there's no way a rope would work. Yeah. Even if inner tube was closer to pool edge, water's still too low to drag tube in. Unless you're clever. No, I don't feel that clever to make a weird lasso. I can see why they just left it there. I guess they would have tried, but like, ain't gonna happen. It would take too long, and they would have been busted if someone saw them. Exactly. Ha! What kind of clumsy dipshit drops an inner tube and can't retrieve it? Uh, you? Let me tell you, this culprit's a real fucking amateur. Ooh. No, actually, save for that one mistake. This was the perfect crime. Wow. If Maki had never met up with Ryoma at nighttime, it might have been the end for us. Well, I still don't know if Maki is telling the truth or not. Why are you doing this, Kokichi? Uh -uh. Oh? Personally, I find this culprit frighteningly thorough. Such a bold, beautiful plan. I never even imagined there was a ropeway. Okay. Oh, respect begins to bloom in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. You got a bit weird there, Kurikyo. Stupid? Don't respect the culprit. Of course he will. No, respecting the culprit's intelligence is crucial in solving this case. We're so close, we're just one step away from the truth. Now, we just need to figure out who the culprit is. Someone who is intellectually smart. But of course, it would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. 
So, who is it? Hmm. Looks like it's time for me to start the main event. Um, what do you have for us, Kaito? But my psychic here is on a roll right now, so I'll let him take this one. I hate you, Kaito. Hmm? Ah, okay. You're just pushing everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. I'm a Maki's on this one. Oh, Shuichi? Do you already know who the culprit is? I believe so. Yes, I have a good idea who the culprit is. Hey, Shuichi, are you hesitating again? What? Come on, man, there's no need for that. Like I said, you're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. So <laughs> use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. You believe in my detective skills? That's right. I'm going to leave it all to you, Shuichi. Okay. <clears throat> He's a little bit too happy girl lucky on the trigger finger. Yeah, I need to believe in my detective work. This whole setup would have had been prepared in the gym well beforehand. Knowing that now is a list of suspects. Well, I already know who it is, so... But who's smart enough to pull this off? Kokichi's smart enough to pull it off, but he's got an alibi. So, Mew's smart enough as well, but she's very clutzy at times. Eh, uh, you're the next one in possession. It has to be you! There's one more thing I still have to confirm. But Kirumi is the prime suspect. Ooh. Me? What? K Kirumi? Oh... So Kirumi is the culprit! That is not yet a certainty. Let us hear her testimony first. You're gonna go for some rebuttal? Is this true, Kirumi? I cannot believe you would suspect me. If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. You need to try and prove to us that it wasn't you, though. The wrong choice? If you do believe it is me, are you prepared to stand by that decision? Is this going to be the case like it were with Pekka Pekiyama where she didn't think she was the weapon? I will refute your accusations with all my might, for everyone's sake. Go on then, Ultimate Maid. Bring it on, girl. Don't move on top of it, huh? Okay. Okay. I, of course, am not the culprit. The crime was committed at night time. It was. We know you this. Have no alibi, do you? Yeah. An alibi for night time? I believe most of us. Do. Nope. Let that slide. Let that slide. I have evidence that proves you're the c culprit. Do you? Who would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. Mm -hmm. Like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. I doubt it. Kirumi oh, look has a nice body. <laughs> could have totally oh, not now. I don't have any spare batteries. Uh oh, that's not bad. That's not good. Well, let's hope that the batteries from my mouse. Yep. That were the issue why mouse wasn't working. Okay, looking on the floor. When the push comes to the shove. The mouse has to come in handy, which means I have no batteries to use, as per usual. <coughs> but I can work on it. Okay. We shared an inner tube. Okay. We all could have, except perhaps Gonta. Mm. Okay. I know what I need to do here. I, of course, am not the culprit. Okay. Crime was committed at night time. And you have no alibi, do you? Smash the this up. For night time? <laughs> I believe most of us do not have one. Go! Oh, you fucking waited too long, dick you. squeeze. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Let's skip past this again, because that's what I want. She has a gorgeous body. Okay. 
Right, I need to do it a little bit earlier. When... Oh shit. I believe most of us do not have one. Go! Oh, it fucking went again! Oh, come on! Oh, got it! Nice one, Kukichi. We got it. Nice. Okay. Maybe we can't prove everyone's alibi, but we can still pinpoint the culprit. But how? How so? Last night, Kaito and I heard Maki speaking with Ryoma. Potentially. But I haven't mentioned what happened after. Kiromi, any thoughts? Okay. Did you return to your respective dorm rooms? Yes, we did. Interesting. And I couldn't fall asleep, so I was awake until morning. Oh? Which allowed me to hear a certain sound in the night. Oh? Last night, I heard the sound of someone leaving their room and exiting the dorm. How did you hear that? After some time, I heard the sound of them returning. Could it have been the culprit? But all you heard was a sound? That doesn't mean you know who made it. Indeed, it doesn't. But I didn't hear the sound of someone going down the stairs. Ooh, okay, see where these lies take him now. Has a room on the first floor. No one on the second floor left the dorm that night. So everyone on the second floor has an alibi? You cannot determine the culprit with just that. On the contrary, once we rule out the second floor, we know who the culprit is. Okay. Because preparing the rope wave required time to be spent in the gym. Which means it's extremely likely that the culprit helped set up the magic show. Which is Himiko, Himiko, Angie, Kaito, or Kirumi. And Kirumi's well, Kaito's next door to mine, isn't he? Not or is he above mine? No, oh, Kaito's above me. I see. So among the four, the only one with a room on the first floor of the dorms is. Yes, only Kirumi. It wasn't very elegant, but my lie was certainly plausible. Will they buy it? Hmm. You heard a sound, huh? Well, I hear a load of BS. Can't bullshit a bullshitter! But unfortunately for you, Kirumi, your time's up. Did he know who did it? We already know you're the only one capable of setting all this up. I'm confused. Right, Shuichi? Well, that was an unexpected assist. Right. The only person who could have prepared this murder was Kirumi. Well, the preparations in the gym in any case. Okay. And why do you believe that? Because he's a bitch. Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, several steps needed to be taken. Let's go through these steps. Like tying the rope to the gym window and putting a partition in the piranha tank. Mm-hmm. That's right. Ryoma's body entered the gym from the window, but that required preparation. All night work of preparation. It could only have been done when Kirumi was by herself in the gym before nighttime. Mm-hmm. But Kirumi was alone in the gym for only, like, five minutes. Not enough time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. Okay. This is my selfless devotion. Okay, she's arguing with me. Is this the source showdown thing, my bob? While I do yeah, understand it is. where you are coming from, I assure you this is just conjecture. A part of your petty imagination, an empty theory created from nihilism. Okay, Mrs. Rebuttal. Okay, black piece of fabric might be the thing we need. I suppose five minutes might be enough time. I accept that. However, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. When you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty, your entire oh, case falls apart. Good. Okay, we've advanced. I think I do need. Crux of the argument. How is it just a guess? I am referring to the rope. 
Okay. It is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor, but there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. Fuck! Damn it! Do we need evidence that the rope was used? Okay. I am referring to the rope. Now, with that rope, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. Quick! Enough no, I missed it! Fuck! Just a guess. And then you add assumptions and hearsay to that guess. It is nothing more than deception. Okay, that's good. Alright. I am I'll, I'll kept in the game. Now, with that rope. It is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor, but there is no evidence to indicate what happened. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, got it. <coughs> What's the scuff marks? Haha, <laughs> we remembered. I have evidence. The abrasions left on the window frames at the gym and the lab. Mm -hmm. They line up perfectly. Are those scratches from when the rope was tied to the window frame? Not the rope, the but the other thing. Just tying the rope to the frame wouldn't cause so much damage. But the tugging. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. Which would mean from the, the people. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the windowsill. Mm-hmm. Oh? What's wrong, Kirumi? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Hey, 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 hey! Why is he being a dickhead again? Kirumi, quiet, cause, cause that's what happened. She got caught. Please answer us, Kirumi. Shuichi is doing this for your sake. If it is for my sake, then it would be much easier to forfeit. But I cannot allow that, because I must do this for everyone. Why for everyone, though, Kirumi? For everyone? I have a duty and a responsibility. I must serve everyone and protect them. So I refuse to surrender. They won't forgive me if I do. Okay. What? Where is this coming from? Her response seems genuine. So what did she mean by everyone? Is she doing this for all our sakes? Um, am I wrong? Is Kirumi innocent? No. I, I'm wrong again. Hey, Kirumi. Who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Kaito? I've just got a weird feeling about this. I don't think she means us. When you said everyone, it felt like you weren't talking about us. It felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Someone who isn't here? Someone outside of the academy? Hey. Do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? Ooh, potential. You know, though. Huh? The motive video? You saw your important someone in danger, so you committed murder, right? He must have seen it. He must have known what's going off. Is that true? I am so sorry for making such a mess. Because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. Unnecessary? You what? saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about. It is all of you, of course. Really? What? Do you swear to a tour? Yes, really. So please believe me. I am not the culprit. Interesting. I do not care what becomes of me, but I will not allow any of you to die. Because I Be made a promise to Kaede. She Did wished you? for all of us to escape together. Okay. I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. I wish to serve everyone. Okay. So please believe me. You have to. Does she think that she didn't do it because he wanted to die? Kirumi. Um, are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? Maybe it's someone else. No one else fits the bill. Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? Oh, I wish me. I fucking wish. <laughs> How, How <rude>. are you? <coughs> Gonta just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryoma. 
Yuki Rumi's breakfast were the best. She always treated us so well. So why kill? She really is like a mom. Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. Interesting. You really are screwed up. Screwed up from head to toe. Even through your clothes, I can tell. Damn. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. No. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. They could have pretended to help Hiniko, but secretly prepared the murder. Of course. When you put it that way, it does seem possible. Of course. We can't accuse Kirumi just based on our alibis. Guys, maybe suspecting Kirumi is wrong. She done what she had to do. She yeah. made people doubt. Maybe we should think it over one more time. One more time. I made a promise. As the ultimate mm -hmm. detective, I made a promise to seek the truth. I made a promise to Kaede. So I'm not turning back now. And apparently she made a fucking um a promise too. They're scared. They're scared that they have to accuse one of their friends of murder. So it's up to me. I have to do it. I'll use my detective work to prove it. So you still believe I am the culprit? Well, we found black fabric in the pool. But there is no evidence to indicate that I am. No, there is. I have proof that you're the culprit. No one else is wearing black. I realized it when we determined that the rope weight was used to move the body. If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with a makeshift rope weight, then the final clue falls into place. Legitimately. The final clue. Oh, he literally. The damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Because no one else wears black, apart from myself. Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? Because if we pin you as not the culprit and innocent, then we all die apart from you, Kurumi. Don't you want to protect everyone? I'm doing this because I want to protect everyone. Shuichi. Then you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. No, I think he's just put you in on pressure. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know the truth. All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. Oh, he listens plenty. I can't bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self-righteous brat. Okay. You can't save anyone. No more doubts. I'm confident I'm right. I'm going to present everyone the evidence that proves she's guilty. Where is the piece of fabric? There it is. This is it. The piece of black fabric in the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. No, you're guilty. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Especially when it's just so weirdly placed in the middle of the pool, or else it would be clean. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. He would have dinged in his head. It's an important piece of the puzzle. Because, like the inner tube, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. Mm hmm. Huh? Why not? Because it was in the pool. Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. Yep. But how would you control it? If it kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. Oh. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. For example, the culprit could have used their hands for friction. But that would rip their hands apart. Yeah, so what? You wear gloves. You're still wrong. Your logic is flawed. Kirumi. Why are you becoming increasingly erratic? Does everyone wear gloves? Oh no. She doesn't. Tenko. He has bandages. Oh, Sumigi is not wearing either. To fight against the truth. What? Truth. 
That black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that. Show us your hands, Kurumi. No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. I've wore, I've wore thought thought it was worth from a dress, but now I realize it's from the gloves. Finding out how that black fabric fits into this is the key to everything. I'll make it clear now. Argument amendment. Okay. You are incorrect. What is this truth? I love this shit. That is just your empty deduction. You continue to continue. At least this one's in everyone. tune. Time this time. You are incorrect. What is Missed it. Never mind. That is just Still miss it though. You continue to confuse everyone. Ah! Oh, stage two. In this class trial, everyone's life is at stake. Of we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Come on, get that rhythm, baby. Everyone I didn't fucking hold it. Aha, motherfucker! Everyone's Still not good, good at doing those, though. Nice. Truth. I've done it, didn't hold it again. Oh, Everyone's suck it, bitch. I still miss it, though. Truth. That was terrible. Ah! Okay, we got a crit. That's nice. I didn't hold it again. Oh, nice. I worked that time. Didn't hold it again. Got that one. I love getting them ones. Okay, I'm working better with the shots. Okay. Reason. Okay. But I will never accept it. It seems you wish to be in me. As I guess I don't get told off for doing it. I guess I do. I don't know. You are only providing okay. us with speculation. Nice, nice, nice. Why must you interfere? I completely understand. So close. Got her. What's the final blow? Piece of trash prove. Ah! Key root me's glove. It ends here. <laughs> Alright, coming up with the hot picture. Fabric came from Kirumi's black glove. Can we see them? Kirumi's glove? No, David. If the culprit were slowing their descent by grabbing the rope with their hands. Mm -hmm. There would have been a lot of friction, easily enough to cause rope burn. But we've got gloves. But our culprit was smart. They weren't burned because they weren't barehanded. They're never banded. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and... And it fell into pool? Yep. From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is Kirumi. Right. No gloves, no gloves, no gloves. The gloves on your hands now. You're I white, you're padded up. The extra uniforms in our rooms are made of the same material we're wearing now. Yeah. We can test my theory by comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. Ah. <laughs> well, Kirumi, will you allow I mean, Kibo us to does, but he's more the robotic. Black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? Ooh. Why are you sweating so much? Because of everyone she wants to save. What's wrong? In the end, I'm just like them. I'm scared of revealing the truth. Because it means that someone has to be sacrificed. But Kaidi was scared too. She didn't let that stop her. She fought things through to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it and kept thinking. And kept going. This is where it led me, and I won't turn away from it. I will show you the truth. No, oh, my bed. Ooh, closing argument time. Hell yeah, bitches. Okay, what's this one? Carried the rope. Okay, the evidence made of metal that Piranhas didn't eat. Do we have that on us already yet?
No. What was used as partition? Do we have the glass lab? Nope. Okay. What about this one down here? The thin, long item the culprit took from the gym. This thing? Okay, good. We got that one down. What is this? Where in the gym was the rope tied? I don't think I have the window yet. No. Okay, next page. Next page. What is this? Before the murder, what was put on the victim's wrists? The handcuffs. There we go. What is this? What was taken from the pool? Uh, the, the, the rubber, in, rubber dinghy thing. Hey, what a quinky dink. And then we've got this. What was used to transport the body to, to the ropeway? Oh. Okay. Friction on the glove. And the prana tank. Hitting the brakes was tougher than expected. That is this. Nice. Oops, don't want to do that. Where was the body carried to? Um, don't have that one yet. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Okay, the evidence of metal the piranhas didn't eat was one of those things. Okay. What was used as a partition in the prana tank? This thing. Okay, good. That's how we get this. Metal handcuffs in the water. There we go. Alright, what is this? Where the gym rope was tied to? Is it this one? Yep. Okay. And then we have two more left. What was used to transport the rope? Okay, there we go. And then the one that we're missing is right here. This is the truth of the case. There we go. Not not the hardest. Okay. The victim's body was act found five. this morning during Himiko's underwater escape act. Yep. When we saw the piranhas in the tank, we thought that Himiko's escape failed. Of course. Just trying to get this process as fast as I can. Might be a tomorrow Himiko's thing for me. So I'm trying to get this out on time. Might get it done overnight to be fair. Because we've only got six videos to record next week before Lollipop Chainsaw comes out. We saw to Yoma with piranha swarming around him. Before any of us could react, the piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. That's why I thought he originally died. I didn't think you were going to thought he was eaten alive. And all that was left were his bones and the handcuffs he was wearing. Which all looks good in that picture, by the way. That fucking Kibo's picture. The finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic trick. The culprit obfuscated the time and place of the murder, implicating Himiko in the process. I like that word, Obf obfuscated. In truth, the Act crime one. began last night, around 8.55 p.m. While preparing for the show in the gym, the culprit had a chance to be alone. It was then that the culprit used the ladder to reach the piranha tank and removed the glass lid to put inside the tank. Okay. They used it as a partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. This was very thought out, very elaborate. Next. The culprit took the rope from the stage wing in the gym. And used the ladder once more, this time to climb up to the gym's window. Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. And then tied it to the other end? The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. 
These preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. At nighttime, past midnight, the culprit asked Ryoma to meet at his lab. All the pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. Was ready to murder. Poor Ryoma, dude. First, the culprit knocked Ryoma out, probably striking him from behind. Would have been evident on the skull, though. Then, they put the handcuffs from the shower room on Ryoma's wrists. Not a good way to go, this. shoved his head into the sink filled with water. From the water and the pain of drowning, Ryoma should have woken up and struggled. He did struggle. The, the culprit anticipated thing. his resistance, which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. The struggle left scrapes on the cuffs and sink. Mm -hmm. In the end, Ryoma succumbed. Poor oh, dude. Ryoma was dead, but the culprit's plan had only just begun. Nah, it's pretty, pretty much all been done at this point. I want to say it's been over for long. Whatever they were talking about. They removed the cable from the tennis net and hung it from the window facing the pool. Okay. And then at the pool, they connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. They, they didn't returned eat. to the lab after picking up one last thing. A pigeon. Where's my soda? Here it is. The rubber inner tube that was in the pool's tool shed. I forgot about that place. To be honest. Once back in the lab, the culprit pulled the cable, bringing up the rope. Like we did last time. When we witnessed the death. And we fade back to normal, I'll um, end the video there. Was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. I didn't even do an outro for last episode either, which I totally forgot about doing. I didn't I didn't register it in my head. And thus, the gym and the lab windows were Maybe I wouldn't do that just to I should have probably done that. Oh well. Accidents have happened. Pardon me if you need my burp. After making a hanger of sorts with another length of rope tied to the inner tube, they hung the inner tube on the rope connecting the windows. Nasty overhead view. That's how the culprit created the ropeway that was used to move the body. I don't like how the pool's so shallow, though. An impressive premeditated murder, but the culprit made two crucial mistakes. The culprit got on the inner tube with Ryoma's body and slid toward the gym. As you do. With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. To Just avoid down. crashing through the window, the culprit used a brake. Her hat. A poor little hand. They used their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. I mean, if it did, if they didn't do that in the first that place, significant rope and had the culprit like, not did it slowly with gripping? But due to the friction, part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool. There were probably better ways to do that. Regardless, the culprit reached the window and put Ryoma's body into the piranha tank. By not going through the window. The glass pane not only kept the piranhas and the body separated, 
It also kept the piranhas so close together, they concealed the body. They are so tilted right now, they're like, <laughs> they're stimming! That's what they're stimming! After that, all the culprit had to do was untie the rope and the inner tube. That's still a deep drop though, two stories? But that's Yeesh. when they made their second mistake. The tube fell in the water. The rope came loose, and the inner tube dropped into the pool. Oh dear! It's like fuck, I can't do this about it now. Thus, the culprit was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence: the fabric and the inner tube. They couldn't retrieve the evidence because of the rule against swimming at nighttime. <laughs> Nice picture. Won't be using it though. Yeah, we've already got our thumbnails for the series. Story. Am I wrong, Kirumi Tojo? The ultimate maid? You're beautiful as well. I'd say. A lot of, a lot of hot looking anime girls in this series though. But they're fucking smoking. That's the conclusion I reached. Do you have any objections? This is very, very unfortunate, Shuichi. You still denying it? My pride as a maid demands that I fulfill every request that I receive. Was your request to kill him? But to end like this. Does that mean you admit it? Shirumi. Why use your own gloves, though? The warehouse should have had plenty. There weren't any. Obviously, she would have used them if they were available. Jeez, Monokuma provided everything but the gloves. That's pretty sadistic. He planned ahead of it. But thanks to him, at least the game became way more interesting. I mean, without if you used the freaking gloves from there, you wouldn't have had any fucking idea who to pick him up from. Yeah, I still would have. Yeah, she would have still rebelled. Let's say there's no proof it with me. So, it's decided. This case was decided the moment someone who shall not be named opened their big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we don't know that. Maybe the real culprit is someone nobody expects. Like Junko and Ashima. Is right. No need to worry. <laughs> oh, Monodem, you're like a mommy taking care of her sick child. You sick to a All fuck. Right, let's go. Ooh, do I get to do my voice? One less, two less voices for me to do after this chapter now. Two less voices. Well, technically three, because we've done with, with, with talking about Ryoma now. And now Kurumi's added to the list of no longer voices we need to replicate, nor one of these monocubs. Hopefully it's Monofani, because I don't like doing hers, but I know when she, I know when that happens. So, sadly, it's voting time. Right. Oh, I can't save it. Rip. Where are you, beach? There you are. Beach. Oh my god, cheese. I want cheese. Now this is an official announcement. Let's see the result. So I've got a few more talking to them. We're going to witness the death. And then we can end the series. Oh, end the video, sorry. And then return after the lollipop. Cheesely. I'm not going to play it until they get all the achievements, by the way. Although that is possible. One person voted Shuichi. <laughs> I'm assuming the person who voted me was Kurumi Toji anyway. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? That should have been said before the voting announcement came out, right? Oh, right, yeah, no, 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 yeah, it's right, it's right, it's right, yeah. Were they right or were they wrong? Would be nice if it like randomized though. Like, nope, someone else did it. Sorry. Oh, the coinsies! I would love to have one of those coins. Just just as like a little memorabilia of the game, you know? I would I might oh, I'm about to say we might get both this game, but I've already Actually I've got one of one and two, I haven't got one of three. I'll try and find one of three. Yeah, it's all A's because I had to restart <laughs> I had to restart the um I had to restart the thing. <laughs> just um I like I said, the 
thing you turned off, so I had to like do everything all about it again. All right, that's cool. Ooh, we go get to go to the um thingy soon. <clears throat> oh my! You all voted correctly. What an unexpected, unpredictable outcome. The black and who killed Ryoma Hoshi is Kurumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Bravo, bravo! Thank goodness. Phew, thank goodness we managed to get through the class trial again. There's nothing good about this at all! Why? Why did it have to be Kurumi? Truly, this result was unexpected. How can you be so calm about it? No way. But Gunter no can believe it. Kurumi was so helpful for everyone. <laughs> Same Kurumi is also culprit? Hey, hey, how long have you been lying to us? Is that why you took so such good care of us? So you could deceive everyone? You mean she's not my mom? She was never your fucking mom. Hey, Kurumi, tell me. Why? You're always thinking about everyone around you. How could you kill someone? <laughs> Human beings have always been selfish, self-centered creatures. That's why I hate humans. They burn down the forest we call home. They pollute the rivers we drink from. I'll never forgive no humans. Way. But is that really a reason to destroy them? Some humans are really nice. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Enough with the commentary already. Say. Well, Kurumi, were your feelings towards us simply another falsehood? No. no, it can't be. Say it ain't so. That was just another lie no. too? I don't think so. I still believe Kurumi cares about us. And how would you know? I can't say for certain, but I can sense that this trial has been agonizing for her. You can say for certain, hmm? That is what the detective would say. Kurumi, are you upset? Because of the people important to you? You mean like from the Modi video? So Kurumi watched hers after all? Early Kurumi mentioned that she had accepted a request. Perhaps that request came from someone important in her motive video. What's wrong? Do you have nothing to say for yourself? No, that is not it. I'm just lost. Because if I tell you why I did it, you regret what you've just done. Damn. Regret? Spit it out already! Otherwise we can't accept this outcome. Please, Kurumi, tell us. I care about you a lot, and I know the others care about you too. So please. Understood. Very well then, if you are all so desperate to know, I'll consider this a final request and tell you everything. No more lies then. You better just tell us the truth. Please and thank you. Yes, I understand. Your reasoning was exactly right. The reason I murdered Ryoma was because of what I saw in my motive video. As I thought, you did indeed watch your video. Does that mean someone broke the agreement and traded your motive video? Alright, fess up! Which one of you did it? Close your eyes and raise your hand if it was what you! Why would the one raising their hand need to close their yeah. eyes? Well, that won't be necessary. I did not trade my motive video with anyone. Huh? If you didn't trade with anyone, I'd just see your motive video. Perhaps Kuruma received her own motive huh? video. Huh? You mean she had her own motive video from the start? Yeah. Correct. No one had my motive video but me, the video's intended recipient. I have no idea why. That's not possible. Monaco, what the hell's going on? Hmm? You know I meant to bring this up early because it's been bugging me for a while. All this talk about videos being switched? What does that mean exactly? Yeah, don't play dumb. You're the one who switched up all the motive no, videos. No. no, I didn't. Huh? Uh, um... Oh! I was not supposed to ask that! Did you cup screw up again, hmm? Huh? Not supposed to. Dumbass. It's all Monofani's fault! She passed them out without checking their names! <laughs> what? I didn't know! Monotaro should have checked the names too! Wait a minute! I don't even remember passing out any videos! It was my fault. What? I'm sorry. I apologize. I should have been more careful. Oh. No, Monodam, it's not your fault. It's all our fault. I'm sorry, too. Ah, uh, it 
Seems I misunderstood. Yeah. I completely forgot that the plan all along was to redistribute the videos. Hey, um... It's not your fault at all, kids. It's my fault for Mother. forgetting. Okay. Thank goodness. What the hell is this mushy feel good you crap? Stupid. You're all idiots. I'm through getting along with you dummy bears. Well, now. I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Please continue your boring conversation. I see. The money comes from merely distributed the motive videos at random. Receiving my own video was nothing more than bad oh, luck. I see. So you just watched it without knowing why it was given to you? What was in your video? What's wrong? Well, you promised to tell yes. everyone. I will tell you the truth in its entirety, but I doubt that everyone will believe it. So. If that's the case, why don't we all watch the motive video that's together? Right. Yes, that would be much better. Let's hurry before Daddy gets bored again. How thorough of you. Yet I suppose it is better this way. Perhaps the truth will be easier to believe if you witness it with your own eyes. After Grimmy had spoken, the monocubs began playing the video. Kurumi right, Toji's motive video. Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video! Hello. Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado... I wonder what would be on my video. I don't know. I think you know what would be on my video, to be fair. Kirumi Tojo, yeah. the ultimate maid. With clients in politics and finance, this elite maid is renowned for completing any request. One fateful day. Wow. She was suddenly summoned by one of her most influential clients, the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister had a request of utmost importance. He requested okay. that she use her talent as the ultimate maid to serve her country. Jesus. He asked Kirumi to make this country great again. <laughs> and transferred all his authority to her. Right on topic for about... Isn't that when Trump came into power? Because he lost power in 2021, right? So it would have been... This would have been his trial runs, yeah. No one suspected that the Prime Minister's new secretary was secretly running the country. Wow. And over time, she became the de facto Prime Minister. Only Kirumi could save the country from impending doom. That looks like Android 18. Give her blonde hair. That's Android 18. Yes, the future of the country rests entirely on her capable shoulders. But Kirumi is up to the task, for she only accepts requests that only she can fulfill. But only she can fulfill? What do you mean? She is driven by the belief that her citizens are the most important people in her That's life. not Kurumi, though. Kurumi has white hair, not brown. And while we're on the subject of those important people, an unfortunate event will soon befall those vermin and sheeple. What event, you ask? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> Find out at graduation, yeah. Huh? It can't be. What? What the hell? The Prime Minister? Everything you just saw is true. Though I only remembered it upon watching that video. Remember? Wait. Uh, please, hold on. That video is true? Is That's ridiculous! There's no way Kurumi's really the you Prime Minister! No, it's the truth. I am Kurumi Tojo, the ultimate maid, and the most important people this to me selfless devotion. are the citizens of this country. I was called upon to lift the country out of a dire situation. Okay. I swore to serve and help all its citizens. No matter what the request, the apparently. Made, I have advised politicians many times in the past. Right, you were there a minute ago. I don't want to move my chair and roll the fuck over you. Okay, he's not around me for but some reason. He wanted me to prioritize saving the country from an unprecedented crisis. Which was? I fully accepted this request. Because you're a dumbass. It is a great honor to serve the nation itself. Okay. What did I do? You're literally confusing the shit out of me. Because this makes no sense and I gotta take a dump. I see. I see. Sir Kumi was the real prime minister. Running the country behind the scenes. 
How can you seriously believe that a high schooler could be a prime minister? I don't think it's thought that an ultimate level talent could be that powerful. I mean, Keyboy's talent lets him pretend to be human, even though he's a heartless How robot. Rude. How rude. I am not pretending. I am still I learning. I see. Well, good luck, I guess. Incredible. I was aware of Kurumi's impressive talents, but Prime That's Minister? Then Kurumi really is Prime Minister? She hold burden of country's awesome. future? The movie video aside, Kurumi doesn't seem like she'd lie about something like that. Hey, hey, I got that Kurumi is really important, but what was this unprecedented crisis? I do not know, I do not know actually. Why can't I remember? Uh, um, that memory's lost. That's... Wait, isn't that just like the that ultimate hunt? Perhaps it is connected to the huh? ultimate hunt. The ultimate hunt is connected to the unprecedented crisis facing the nation? Um, if that's true, how are they connected? What is the ultimate hunt I anyway? I do not know what is happening to the nation while I am here inside the end wall. That is why I needed to know. I needed to know that the most important people in my life this were safe. Because I am duty and honoured, honour bound to protect every citizen of this nation. My apologies. That is why I needed to escape. So, so you weighed our lives against the lives of everyone else but in the nation. But if those are the options, of course you pick everyone outside, right? There's just too many lives at stake out there. And we just stopped Krumi from doing that? Because we selfishly want to live. Like what should we do? Did we just make a terrible mistake? If everyone outside dies because Krumi is dead, Why? doesn't that mean we're pretty much destroyed the country? What do we do? Wait. Say, what's Monokuma planning to do with the rest of humanity? You know how many people live in this country? Like a hundred million, easily! No matter how powerful the mastermind is, there's no way they could really... <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, I'm the ruler of the world! Nothing is beyond my power! Nothing is beyond your power? What kind of arrogant, ridiculous... That is 100% a lie. It is impossible that he could bring disaster of a country. <laughs> what are you trying to pull? What's so funny? Yes. You guys act like you can't believe it, but you're all terrified anyway. Yeah. If you can't believe it, then you're terrified for no reason! Yeah. Why do humans lie? Why are humans the only animal that tells lies? Yeah. Shut up! Hey, cut it out! This is serious. Hello? How long are you gonna keep talking about Karumi? Let's talk about Ryoma! It would be a shame to completely neglect him. Oh, I see. That's right. We know your motive to kill, but why did you kill Ryoma specifically? Because he was easy to kill. Huh? Easy to kill. Weird. Ryoma not that weak. When he used his Shukuchi method, even Gunter no could catch. Agree. His physical strength was irrelevant when he did not have a reason to Do live. You agree? Without that, he became the weakest among us. What? I took advantage of his weakness and killed him. What do you mean? I told him I had urgent matters to discuss and to meet me in the research lab on the third floor. There I revealed my motive video and afterward I told him, I am responsible for the life of every citizen of this nation, so I must escape this place. He then responded, Got it. So you got a reason to survive? That's complete opposite of me. <laughs> That's good. If you've got something to live for, it means your life has value. <laughs> After he said that, he told me he would clean up the tennis balls lying around. And then he turned his back toward me. Oh At shit! At that moment, my determination solidified. A oh. person like him would have noticed my bloodthirst emanating. He already knew. He forfeited his life right then and there. That is correct. That is when I decided I must sacrifice his life for my nation and my then, people. Then Ryoma knew who was going to be killed? But... Wait a minute! It's Maki's fault that Ryoma decided he didn't want to live anymore! Because... What? Ryoma only gave up on life after you showed him his motive video. Well, since you didn't watch his motive video, I guess you had no what way of knowing. What's your point? Wait, wait. wait a minute. 
You're talking as if we almost saw the motive video. Did you just say that he only checked the name and didn't watch the video? Huh? Did I say that? What are you getting at? I probably shouldn't say anything, but someone had to step up and speak for poor Yoma. Again, what's your point? That he gave up on life because I showed him his motive video? I'll get to that in a sec, but why do you think Ryoma wanted to see his motive video? Because he was looking for a reason to live. Isn't that right, Maki? How do you know that? What? Swap motive videos. Didn't we agree not to show them to each other? Yeah, yeah I remember. Because once you watch him, you've got a motive to kill. But, but if it shows someone important to me, I'd really like to see that. Hey. Any idea who will be in the video? No. I don't know. And that's why I want to see it. Once I know I've got someone important to me, I'll have a reason to live. Jeez. If I've got a reason to live, I've got a reason to escape here with you guys. In other words, that video might just give me a motive to live. So please. That's true. You're right. He was looking for a reason to live. Which means you should have sh shouldn't have shown him this motive video in the All first right. place. What do you mean? What did his video show? Ah. Nothing. His motive was empty. Oh. Empty. Oh, oh, we're up next. Let's give it a watch, shall we? Ryoma Hoshi's right. motive video. By popular demand, it's time for the motive video. This is going a bit li little bit longer than what I anticipated. Most important person in your life and now without I think ado, mine would be to say something along forgiveness that would definitely give me motive to kill I think potentially I don't know this message oh? is for Ryoma Hoshi the ultimate tennis pro shit unfortunately there is no one in the world who is important to you what the fuck? I'm so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. Sorry. 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 No one. No one's important to him? Always messing around. The, that's what he was shown? If he saw something like that, he had no... He had none to care for. And none who cared for him. He found no motive to live. Because of that, he chose to let Kurumi claim his life. So that's why. He must have just watched that video before I summoned him to meet with me. It can't be. He just gave up then? To hell with that! That damn moron! But. It's bad to have no reason to live. But it's also bad to have too many reasons to live. That's why you did such a terrible thing, right, Kurumi? For too many reasons. You are free to judge me for killing Ryoma. I would bear the burden of being seen as evil for the sake of my nation and its people. Everyone. Because that is what it means to serve with selfless devotion. That's why I needed to survive. Sacrificing you all meant saving the lives of men, women, children, and elderly. I wanted to live. Kurumi. <laughs> Manokuma, Gunta have question. Oh, what is it? Can Gunta be blackened instead of Kurumi? What? Gunta not smart boy, but even Gunta understand what everyone's saying. Yeah. Kurumi should live, not Gunta. World needs her. Um. I was thinking the same thing. I don't want to die, but Kurumi's life is way more valuable than mine. <laughs> Kurumi's got the lives of hundreds of millions of people on her shoulders, right? Logically, Kurumi's survival would result in fewer casualties than our collective survival would. Jeez, Jeez maybe it would be better if we'd gotten the culprit wrong. What do you oh, mean? Man. If Krumi survives, then the nation's future will be secure! Then what was the point of me doing all this? Why did I reveal the truth? What have I done? Was I wrong? I... I shouldn't have. Suichi. What kind of face is that, Suichi? If you're my psychic, then suck it up! What? Hey. That goes for all of you! To hell with all this value of life all shit! Right. Well, that's just not something. You can't trade it for or put a price on it. Kaito. Listen up. And your life doesn't just belong to you. 
It's for your parents, your grandparents, your friends, even your neighbors. It's not something you can just decide to throw away on your own. So we didn't do the wrong thing. Life's purpose is to be lived. As long as you stay alive, anything's possible. You can even go to the stars. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I'll wanna live. They haven't even traveled to space yet. There's no way in hell I'm gonna die here. The idiot's talking again. But he's right. I mean, you're right too, he's an idiot, but he's right. Yep, he's not too a damn idiot. I don't know why, but idiots always fill me with inspiration. Hey, shut up. I told him to stop calling me an idiot. Maybe his stupid speech is just what he needs to hear. Grimmy certainly looks shaken by it. Huh? Shaken? Because. Do you really think someone as desperate to live as Krumi would give up so easily? Of course not. In fact, she probably still hasn't given up even now. She was hoping that learning the truth would make one of us volunteer to die in her place. What? But... But Monokuma would never allow a blacken to escape punishment, so maybe. She wanted everyone to rebel so she could use that as cover to escape on her own. How about it, Kumi? Am I close? You are the most detestable cretin I have ever met. You knew exactly what I would attempt, yet allowed me to explain anyway. Wait. What he just said was true? You tried to trick Gunta. Tried to trick everyone? Seriously? You backstabbing cunt. Enough. She was just trying to stay alive in her own way. Nobody can blame her for that. That's right. I must survive. Because I carry the weights of an entire nation on my shoulders. I would not have killed Ryom if I was so easily deterred. This request will not be fulfilled until I have brought joy to every citizen of this you nation. So no matter what, I cannot die. That is why I killed Ryoma. Even now, I refuse to give up. Kurumi, I see. you still refuse to give up? So what do you intend to you do? Live. I intend to live. I must survive, no matter what it takes. If I must debase myself, so be it. I will drink filth and eat carrion to survive. survive. I will do anything, anything to survive. She screamed and she started running. Okay, blood curdling scream. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I it was completely undignified exit. I have to escape. I won't die here. Okay. <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you out of here. It was ugly and raw and feral. She just ran as fast as she could. I heard my voice call out. Run! Run, run Kurumi! Run! Hurry! Run, please hurry! Hurry, run! Hey. Like I said, I'm not letting you leave. Please run! I will live! I refuse to die in a hellhole like this! Now then, I've prepared a special punishment for Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid! For my nation! For my people! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! I will not die! Okay. Now, after this, we will wrap it up. When we go back to normal. <laughs> Angry mob, okay. Notice to quit. Strand of agony. Jesus Christ. This is a brutal one to go as well. Look at all the scars and cuts that she got on her hand. And the fucking saw blades as well. I forgot about these being here. That would fucking hurt so much. She's 
determined though, girl. Damn, her dress is fucking torn to shit. The vine snapped. Oh shit, it was a fake exit. It's off on the landing though. Oh, never mind. And Monosuke is also dead. And that is all we're going to leave it on for this video of Danganronpa. Way longer than what I anticipated this series to be, or this video to be, but it's okay because next episode we will be back to going to one and a half hours after Low Pop Chainsaw, so it's all okay. But as for now though, that is all there is going to be for today with this video. And as always, this is Rixalite signing out, so let's cue the music.